few months ago I made this elevated dog bowl stand for my dog Rocky and uh, today I'm going to try to be making another one for uh, a friend of mine. Uh, her dog is uh, a little shorter than, than Rocky is so the one I'm going to make is basically going to be just like this only it's not going to be near as tall. This one stands about 16 inches tall. Uh, I put the, uh, if you can see that on the side there, I've got like a lab engraving on the, on the side, on both sides here, uh, and uh, Rocky's uh, stands pretty tall, so this one this one fits in nicely, but the next one I'm going to build for uh, for Rosie, is uh, the dog I'm going to build it for, is, it's only going to be about eight inches tall, because uh, it's a Basset Terrier, and it's got uh, much shorter legs than Rocky, so I'm going to do uh, work on that today in the shop, and I'll be showing how it goes together, and also I'll have some plans on the the website drawings and probably some V card profiles uh, for anybody who wants to make one of these for for their pet. So uh, we'll get started. We'll get started making this. I start by importing the DXF file in V card Pro to select the tool pass. And then in VCAR Pro, I can preview the tool pass to see how the part will look when cut on the CNC router. It gives me a good idea what the part's going to look like uh, when I get finished. Okay, I finished cutting all the parts on my CNC router. Uh, I've got all the parts laid out here, and I've already checked the fit. And uh, you can see the top. This is the underside of the top where I just cut a uh, build a pocket and it will accept the, uh, the other pieces. Uh, one of the neat things about using a, a CNC router on this project is it's almost like having another helper because while one piece is running, uh, it can be over there at the uh, router table and either rounding over some edges or sanding or, or doing something else so the machine runs by itself. And, uh, so it's kind of like having a helper. So that's, that's one of the things I like about using a CNC router. But anyway, we're going to check the uh, check the parts again for the fit. You can see they all just fit down in this little pocket. Put the end pieces in. You can see here I put a little uh, set of dog paws on each side. Uh, the dog's name is Rosie. That's, so I've got that all engraved there and a couple little fancy engravings there. So we're going to put this in here like so. Back in, and it all fits together pretty nicely. So, I think this one is now officially ready to be be glued up. So I'll be gluing that up and clamping it. And here's another one that I uh, had worked on earlier that's already glued up. And you can see this one's for a little bit smaller dog. It fits this smaller bowl. And I got a couple of little dog bones on there. And again, the dog paws on there. So I'm going to get this, uh, this big one glued up, and while I'm waiting on the glue to dry that, I'll probably go ahead and stain this the smaller one that I've got ready. And uh, I'll uh, put both of the plans for both of these on the, uh, the website if anybody's interested in building one of these for your pet. So look for those on the website at cncsidewinder.com. Okay, so here's a look at the uh, dog bowl after it's got a little stain on it. Uh, it's not quite ready to use just yet. Uh, if your dog's anything like mine, they, they uh, drip water up here when they're getting, getting water out of their water bowl. So what you need to do is uh, put another coat of this, uh, I use this spar urethane. It's uh, kind of some indoor outdoor stuff and it really seals this up so if there's any water or anything gets on here it'll just bead right up and you can you can wipe it right off and keep it clean. So that's that's the next step and I'll be back when I get that finished.
Okay, I've got a coat of this spar uh, urethane on here to, to help uh, waterproof it a little bit. And it's going to take about probably about four hours to dry. Most likely it'll take a little longer than that because it's raining here today. It's very humid. So uh, I'll have to wait for that to dry and then uh, see if I, I'll probably put a second coat on it as well. But just want to show you kind of what it's going to look like when it's all finished. And uh, also remember to check the website, uh, www.cncsidewinder.com. If you want the plans for this one or the smaller one, I'm going to have those on the, the website uh, if anybody wants to build one for their pet. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.